This is going to show you how to edit a part from being in an assembly. So what we have here is a little robot board um, where this is a wooden board and the Arduino is going to be placed on it. And we would like to make some holes in this board that match the mounting holes of the Arduino. So I'm going to start by just creating a FastenMate that puts the Arduino onto the board. And don't forget, you can hit the Shift key to get um, to keep the plane that you're working on. And I'm just going to pick this corner. I know it's not the ideal corner, but it's close enough to what we're doing for right now. And I just want to explain the reason all these other components didn't follow it is because when it's showing you the preview of the mate, it doesn't update all the other mates that are associated. Now I'm going to give it an offset because I don't want the Arduino right on the corner of the board. So for now, I'm just going to say I want it to be an inch. That was the wrong direction. So I'm just going to say negative one. I find it easier to just simply sort of guess and check on those. And now it, it's nice. So this Arduino is in place. It can't move. Um, now what we can do is right click this board and say right here, edit in context. And now it gives a ghost image to all the other components, but it allows you to pick um, those components. So what I'm going to do is sketch on top of this board. And we will use the use tool which allows you to project geometry. And these are the mounting holes for the Arduino. I'm just going to go through and select all four. And then I'm going to extrude through the board. Merge scope will only be the base plate. And hit the green check. And now you'll see we now have holes in the, in the uh, mounting board. And now we can say, go back to the assembly. Now, the nice thing about this is if we move the Arduino, those holes in the board will actually follow. So what I'm going to do just to show you that is edit this and let's just move it. I'm moving in both the X and Y direction. Now you'll see right now it is not actually updated those holes, but all you need to do is right click on the part that has the so let me show you this this arrow means that it has an in context reference which just means that it's being um it has edits based on in an assembly so right click and say update context and now you'll see those moved similarly if you go to the base plate you'll also see here's the sketch for that you're not really able to edit it um, you can see it, you can take measurements off of it, but you really can't edit it because the edits come from the assembly level. And that's it. That's how you would uh, have parts relative to each other within an assembly.